myself what if I never found my style I guess we'll never know I'm finally at a place where I'm not worried about garnering that validation that was actually so unfulfilling I went to a few art galleries over the weekend and have been asking myself, where does talent end and recognition begin? Recognition acknowledges not just your talent, but your ability to communicate your unique perspective and make meaningful connections with people. I can finally say I'm ready to put myself out there in this crazy art world and stand behind my style and point of view. I just wanted to chat about some galleries that I went to over the weekend. Hey, but I'm nervous. Like, I'm just trying to be like one track mind. Okay, so I'm finally on my way home from the gallery. But I wanted to come over to Dumbo and just chill out in the park. You better believe I'm taking advantage of this weather that we're having right now. So I went to a few gallery openings over the weekend and I just really enjoyed getting into the habit of inhabiting creative spaces. For real, it was refreshing, something I needed, but also extremely intimidating. <laughs> Going alone at least, like I didn't, I, you know, walking to these art spaces alone was intimidating. Okay, now I head, I'm headed in the right direction towards the first gallery reception. To be honest, I have no idea what to expect. It's from 6 to 8. It's like 6.30 right now. All of the galleries that I'm going to are kind of like in the same area. I'm just going to pop in, pop out. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. And I'm going alone. <laughs> What's better than walking into a room full of people alone? New York and City and all of its grimy glory. <laughs> While I was at the galleries over the weekend, I was thinking to myself, this could be me. Why have I been holding back? Why haven't I put myself out there yet? You know, I was, I was just too focused on developing my technical ability as opposed to actually expressing myself. Like I wanted to develop my skill set and to the point where we're so undeniably advanced that it would impress people. Like I was worried about impressing people and, and garnering that validation more than I was worried about actually expressing myself out of the fear of um, being misunderstood in my work. I felt that it was easier to have an overt display of technique as opposed to getting criticized for the work that I was actually expressing myself with and in doing so I denied myself any real vulnerability in my work because when you're vulnerable it's it's opening yourself up to criticism and when you get criticized for something that you are vulnerable with it feels personal like it stings that much more 
I didn't want my ego to be bruised. So I felt like if I withheld the work that I was working on until I felt like I could impress people by putting it out, only then was it worthy to be seen. There are so many factors that can dictate artist recognition. So really, all I need to concern myself with is doing me and expressing myself authentically. If I continue to wait to be chosen, to wait for validation, to wait to put myself out there, I might be waiting a long time. I'm deciding to choose myself and believe in what I'm doing and what I put out into the world. So to the answer the question, where does talent end and recognition begin? Well, it begins with audacity. To believe in my work against all odds, create for the sake of making meaningful connections, and choosing to share my inner world, only then will recognition surpass talent. Like I finally developed a point of view that is so authentically me and I finally have the audacity, the audacity to believe so deeply in myself, in my work, and stand behind it so fiercely that I'm ready to put myself out there and I'm ready to, you know, infiltrate the art world. <laughs> just being around this creativity just makes me really wanna get home and do my own thing. But I've really been enjoying just kinda Seeing, you know, what kind of, what people are doing, what's out there, you know, it kind of makes it feel a little bit more possible for me. I'm gonna go to one more, and they're all in the vicinity. The two that I wanted to go to as well are just too far away, so it's just gonna be three for me today. I'm always like searching for like perfect places to set my phone up, but I'm headed to my third gallery, like I said. <laughs> I'm just trying to be like one track mind. I'm kind of nervous walking around by myself, but who cares? This is one of many nights of infiltrating the art world. Let's go. <laughs> galleries over the weekend just really made me feel like girl you can do this like I got this I know I do I know I got this I'm just gonna start putting myself out there more and getting into the habit of inhabiting creative spaces that was delicious that was so good okay I'm headed down into the subway now onto the gallery onto the gallery for me today.
finally on my way home from the gallery. And I saw this guy painting in the subway. Art really is everywhere for everyone, which made me think of Keith Haring. He was such an advocate for accessible art. And although he indulged in the exclusivity of the art world, he also made his work a public experience with subway drawings, murals, down to his pop-up shop here in New York. His talent isn't showcased in his technique alone. It's shown in his content, accessibility, relatability, and his overall ability con to connect with others. I wanna be like Keith and tackle this crazy art world, but I'm just gonna start by putting myself out there.